Welcome to Currency Watch. This is Chris Keen from AkeenPointOfView.com. Most of the majors moved down against the uh, moved up against the U.S. dollar in Asian, European, and North American trading. Into the open of North America, though, we did have a spike lower on uh, news coming from uh, Europe, but this was quickly erased. Well, not quickly erased, slowly erased throughout North American trading, and most of the majors finished near or at the highs of their day. Heading into tonight's trading, we have a few pairs in very interesting positions. The first is the Great Britain Pound USD cross. The pound USD has been trading within a triangle on the one hour and four hour chart. The, uh, the cross at about two o'clock Eastern time today tried to break above the triangle only to be rejected lower, but it appears to be having a bit of momentum into the close. If we can get a one hour or definitely a four hour close above this triangle level, uh, we would probably have a definite break of this trend and we could move up towards uh, initially towards 156, but more ultimately move up towards the 55th level around 157.83. The next pair I'm keeping my eye on is the Euro US USD. As you can see into the open, the Euro USD spiked lower and tested support at 124.40. This support level has held the pair not once, twice, but three times. As long as the pair remains above 124.40, we're going to move higher. The first initial test is going to be 125.30, and if we break through that, we could go for the 38.2 Fib from the May highs, which comes in around 126.67. Uh, another pair I'm keeping my eye on is the USD. USD CAD cross. Uh, the USD CAD cross um, had drifted higher basically for, since the close yesterday. Uh, today it spiked higher and probably whipsawed quite a few people out. Um, and, and tested trend line support, but then quickly resumed its trend lower, and now it's currently trying to break through 102.60. If the pair can break through 102.60, we'll definitely have another move down towards 102, which the pair has been rejected at, I think, one or two times so far. We could have the momentum to move move lower through this risk risk level. Um, the last pair I'm taking a look at is the is the USD Swiss franc. The USD Swiss franc, as you can see, has been riding this uh, trend line lower, and as long as we remain below this trend line, the, the quickest and the easiest trade would be for the pair to move lower and once again test uh, support in the 0 0.950. So as long as we stay above, I mean below 0 0.9630, I would have to assume that uh, we are going to continue to move lower towards 0 0.950. As for news tonight, uh, we have um, the biggest, well, out of Asia to start off, we have the Japanese machine orders report, but the biggest news that people are going to be watching is the Euro CPI report. Neither one of these reports are going to be market market breaking, so overall you should keep an eye on risk trends tonight to see particularly which way the uh, markets are going to be moving. Uh, that's all I have for Currency Watch tonight, and this is Chris Keen from A Keen Point of View, and remember to keep your trades keen and play it safe.